Yes, indeed. And here we go, folks. Leonard Gates to lead us off. All four players will play this format. So it's going to be 5-1, 5-1, cricket, cricket, 5-1 here as we decide our winner. And Kevin Munch is going to start for Team Germany. Let's hear it. Who do you got in the chat? Kevin able to get in with a 1-2-0 there for his team as that is a great start off to kind of make it for the difference that they did lose the diddle so they are playing from behind in a, this alternate start uh, format. And then Dason and Gates there only getting in on their last dirt rather than having that big explosive opening that we typically will see from those guys. Let's see how that ends up affecting this as Germany can really capitalize on this opportunity. And an excellent last start there as we see a great 89 in. Chris Lightning Limb stepping up to the line here. Now this could go any way in this one. Do we see Team Germany strike the match like they did in that first round robin match against Team Canada because it was a little fluky in that Germany USA match I'll be honest it was really one-sided towards USA and I was wondering why because yeah, well, man there's some players on Team Germany well, let's see what happens here is you're exactly right the Germans, if they're able to turn it on, will be a force to be reckoned with and will give USA a total run for their money. I don't think you can call a winner one way or the other until the final game is finished here, as it can go any way at any point in time here. Great last start there, as Danielle gets that one with ease. Gates is going to continue to do work on these 20s, though, trying to bring it back down after a soft open. The one, two, three there. Kevin can potentially even out from here, depending on where this goes. Not going to do so now. A little bit of frustration as uh, Team USA is kind of caught back up in a, this as they started off pretty weak in comparison. Uh, they just keep mounting up with their insane scoring ability that we're seeing as Dason Alberts tries to load it up but also hits a 1 2 3. So this is Matthias stepping up here for Team Germany. Taking his time here, knowing that he can set it up so they get the first shot at an out here. Everyone's neck and neck, so there's not really a big risk of freezing at the moment. That's a good switch up dart here. Stays down there for a 96 shot. Just a case of the neighbors here for Lim, and he can't put it in the middle. Hey, he's definitely struggling a lot more than what people are typically used to seeing from him. Let's see how well Germany's able to capitalize on that. That's a huge last start there to leave a 127. If you didn't leave it out there, you're just handing the opportunity back over. So good job there to capitalize. Good marker there from Jake to follow that one in. A little bit of an overcompensation on that second dart there. Does find 60 for 142. But the favor is starting to lean a little bit back towards the Germans here. Danielle has been really hot on those trip 20s. 
this week at NDA Team Dart. Does switch down to the, for the uh, 97 shot. That, that's a great change up there. You have to be comfortable using the whole board. The term board management is used for a reason. If you're only good in one area, it's not going to matter. So practicing your cover shots and your change-ups are massively important there. And Gates does a big misstep there. Unable to secure an out for the player one scoreline for Team USA. In fact, is very likely to get frozen for the 1-4-2. Could go for the bull here if he wants. He can tee off if he wants here as well. Taking a gander, he will. And it ends up into the 15 bed to leave 35. It is enough to freeze those. Dason Albers cannot take this out. All he can do is set up from here. As is Team USA from before is not the same one we're seeing right now. You know, I, well, they were super dominant. They're, right now they're kind of cold. They're struggling. They're struggling. I mean, this is the case in a round robin. You've got to continue to be hot. You can't find your inconsistencies, especially now. Double eight for league number one. And the Germans pick it up. And maybe a subtle thought from the Americans as they think, okay, let's 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 piece this back together here. Especially because that was a break of throw as well. It makes that win so much more impactful for the Germans here as now USA needs to try to crack right back. It is a first to three in this best of five here. So let's see how this happens as, as Kevin's going to get with ease again and probably match. Oh, he does hit the switch up there. That was a great 117 in as last game he hit a 120 in. Littered on his last go. Only getting on his last start here. Not going to make the same mistake this time. As you can see, his game face is really starting to get on. The hat's off. Yeah, the hat's off, and you can see a little fist pump there as they want to pull this title and take it home for the USA again. Matthew is stepping up to the line now. Let's get it on the second dart here. there. Let's see what Christian's able to do with this opportunity. Going first, you need to be scoring as heavily as possible, pressing that advantage, because at the end of the day, if you throw a nine going first, then they can't do anything going second. Chris Lim seems to be back to his old self here after having a struggle for some first leg. Yeah, finding it now. Leaves 201. Solid 140 there for Lim. Well, I know a lot of pressure mounting up against the German teams here. As we're already down to the 200 point range for some of these players. Let's see what Jake Smith is able to do here. Yeah, just continue to find some inconsistencies here. Kevin looking to set up the out here. If he does do so, they'd be the first one to shoot at it. Unfortunately, yeah. not going to be able to do so in this situation. Just, just 60, so 201 needed. Try to bring this down to a nice, easy checkout range if you're Leonard Gates. And you think he's going to do it? Eh, he will, because that's a 177 to leave 24 as Gates is just throwing heat now. 
Yeah, I mean, Gator don't miss sometimes, and that was one of those times. <laughs> that was a great shot there to leave 24, a proper tee off, and applying pressure, pretty much unilaterally approaching this in the best possible way. Now, Jason just needs to make sure he keeps up with the scoring power here to uh, make sure no freezes on the table. And he's saying, finally, at least something here. Christian just taking a second to readjust and let that board kick on over. This would be handy. That would be handy. I believe this would be a 10 darter here if this goes. 24, double 12. Team USA on the board. As you see Johnny Lackey giving a big clap there in the background. One apiece now as we're going to switch up to cricket here after that beautiful 11 darter there for Team USA. It's good to switch over to that cricket format. We're going to see these players watching with anticipation here as this is still anybody's match. One all, race to three. And we will move to cricket. And Gate starting off with cricket is dangerous, but only a six mark there as he wanted a little bit more. That's always the case, so you always want a little bit more. <laughs> Just that old case of a little Even bit more. Even a nine mark doesn't feel like enough sometimes. But Kevin's going to apply pressure right back here. He's upset with that one. Oh, yes, definitely. I mean, he expected that to go in for a seven mark. I think they were just confirming the order here before moving forward as you saw Chris and Dason have a little bit of an exchange. So let's see, now Chris going for those 19s. With that hanger dart there, he's gonna have to stay up. And Ricky Bell be saying triple 11. Yeah, unfortunately the dart looks like it kind of hit the board a little funny and the flight slapped, which is what probably happened there. See, Matthew's in the second player position. He definitely takes a little bit of time before he steps up. I'm a mechanical technician when he gets to the uh, line here. Really plans out his attack. That's what you have to be. You have to be a little bit methodical when going at this and really have a good game plan before going to the board here. Dayson does find a four mark. He seems to get frustrated with himself there. I know he's been uh, having some ups and downs according to himself here. But that being said, he's a great shot, and he needs to just stay calm and stay in his element here. You can see Jake Smith finding the 20s there. And he's just going to be very aggressive on his, uh, or excuse me, very conservative on his pointings here, as that is a great nine mark there for Team USA. Yeah, lays in the two on the trip 20s and goes ahead and takes his opportunity to close out the 19s. Sitting about one four seven ahead. And then you can do is try to capitalize on the 18s and just a five opens the door for Gates. And Gates loves shots like this. He loves to be able to move around the board for different numbers. And in this case, it looks like he's going to focus on just opening up those 17s there. I was going to go for like a 17, 15, 18 switch up. Uh, but in that case, did the smart decision, stay down, open up that second playground there after already shooting at it.
Well, now Chris Lim is stepping up here, and this Lim. is really a great situation for Team USA. Yeah, Lim will not hesitate. He'll go right at that 18, like he should, over the 16s. He's the aggressive, most aggressive player in this USA team by far. I've seen Chris Lim make moves on numbers when he is down by a substantial amount of points, like 80. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> But it works. If you hit it, it works. Well, if USA takes this leg, that'll put them at match point here. Matters with a nice seven there, but not going to be enough as Alberts goes ahead and closes the door on the 15s and over to the Bulls. Can you get a double here? Oh, oh just a single. You can see that ferocity in him as he turned his side. It was like about to scream as he really wanted that one. They're getting fired up over there as USA knew after that first leg they needed to step up their game because they gave way too much slack. And the German team, they're not going to give up here. And in fact, can very much come back if they hold their throw in the next leg. Jake Smith adding a little bit of uh, intensity here for the fans watching along here. I guess so. But he goes ahead and closes it. Two to one score line for Team USA after losing the first leg. They are now just one leg away from the title here. We'll see if that match point pressure starts weighing in on USA. Of course, they're a pretty relaxed group. Um, but if the pressure starts to get on them, you never know what can happen. Kevin is not happy with that as Leonard Gates is get to basically join the board states as a, as a, a great opportunity. And Gates, <laughs> look at that. He does a little a little pump there because he needed that last art to go in. Matthews, that's a great marker for him. If he takes advantage of that barrel, he can glide it right in, and that's exactly what he's going to do here. Right above it, and then hits a changeup over to the 20. Great shot there from Team Germany. Look and at Chris Lim, Lim going up. to work. Oh. So I told you, he's, he's aggressive with the play. He, he attacks the 19s there when some may think the point is the best option. Well, Christian's all blocked up over there. The dart's hanging uh, over the other dart. He has to go for the side angle. You can see it's so difficult to work around. And he can't work around it, pushes it outside. This is all in USA's hands right now. If Dason can come up here and hit a five marker higher. This will be certainly insane if he hits this right here. He's going to have to spend all three. And now, let's be honest here. This is a good opportunity for the Germans to get back into this. There's only a one point difference and two numbers down, which really means, and I think they're kind of talking about it, hey, if you hit the first start triple, go for the closes here and give us a little bit of an advantage going into the Bulls. But USA knows they are so close to holding that title right now. Danielle stepping up. He didn't find the first start triple, so he's going to be staying there now. He needs to find this trip here to save the save it. That is a must-hit dart. Yes, indeed. Jake Smith blowing the fingers as he steps up here. Got to be a little tension. USA is so close in their position here. That's a great dart from Jake. He's going to play conservative and stay up there for a huge seven mark. Yeah, and, and just staying there is just Jake saying, no, we're taking this right here, right now. 
That's what he's trying to put in the mind of the Germans. You don't want to mess about with keeping that close points here. With so much pressure and intensity, you just want to make sure to get as much separation as possible. Kevin's going to do everything he can. Responds with a 7 mark there to regain the point lead. Now this is starting to heat up a little bit as Leonard Gates is stepping up to the Aki here. And Gates taking the dagger dart there. A huge third dart on that 16 and taking the opposite approach of Jake, playing a lot more aggressive there. And it seems to have paid off, forcing Team Germany now to find a nine. Will they find it? Oh my word. Oh, that's exactly what they needed. Anything less wouldn't suffice. Chris Lim, though, still has an opportunity to shut it down. It's a hanger. He stays up there for a four mark now. Now this is very interesting as Germany can hit a nine mark here, well, an eight mark technically, to take control. This is scary. On the outside, can't happen here. He will take a look at the 18s to try to close, and it's just a single. He ends up on the high side. I wonder if he's going to regret doing that change up there and not pointing more. The pressure is there. You can definitely feel the intensity in the room right now. It almost feels like USA is breathing down our necks. Oh, that does get the point lead. He's going to have to go take a, the shot to close here. No, he stays on it. Oh. And then hits a 17. Oh, what a shot there. Yeah, big shot there indeed. Now it pressures back on Jake Smith. 49 points. At least difference. one triple here on the 18s. He's going to stay there for all three now. I don't see him taking the hero shot. He needs to find the triple. Oh my, just a single mark there and the door is open for the Germans to run on through. And look at Kevin, he's gonna go right at those 18s here. Why wouldn't you? Get rid of him. Get rid of him. And try to point and even we heard a big yas from the Germans <laughs> in the back thinking that was gonna be a crucial moment. It was, but Gates can still not anymore. Yeah, it's a 31 point difference here. So he's not going to be able to get that point lead here. But he does get those three bulls. Put some pressure again on Germany. But now this is a lot more neck and neck as USA went from having firm control to being behind in the leg. Okay, it's just uh, making sure he knows exactly how to go about this. First start didn't stick in the bull. He might use a switch. Yes, and that's exactly what he's going to do. That's a smart move there. That is an extremely smart dart. If you don't stick there, don't risk trying to go for that double. Take the safer route, and that's exactly what happened here. Chris Lim fighting along here, but no chance of taking the out. He switched up to the 15 after feeling blocked on that bull. Boy, oh boy, as we've gone back and forth, the tables are turning every single moment, it seems. As Christian will go back to the 15s to point it up. You can hear that German crowd getting louder and louder as well, they are rallying right now. They're definitely needed. I mean, at the start of this leg, we thought, oh no, this is easily going to go in the favor of USA, but since... Some tight rounds and and some loose darts, I guess, would we'll, would we'll, we'll do that. This is what happens. It's that finish line anxiety trying to cross over at the very end there. The pressure of knowing it's almost over. And look at this. 
Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. We get one more for this men's international challenge as it is two all here. Germany, USA. Who's going to hold the trophy? Let's find out. Yes, and we're going to head back to 501 for this last leg decider. As we'll flip the coin. Lim says you guys got it. This is going to be a very pivotal diddle. Kevin to show first. And that's a great one. Great double indeed. And the ball did spin, so it kind of put it in the underneath position, though, so it's a lot more usable. It, it was a lot more usable. I mean, that is the thing about the Bulls, that it will, it will fall, but... Here we go. Germany's going to get the start in 501. That is a big, big deal to have that bull. You can feel the pressure mounting. It is intense in here. Team USA, which had dominated Germany in the round robin, all of a sudden kind of almost has their back against the wall. And this is a completely it, flipped storyline. It almost seems like it, doesn't it? Well, let's see. It all comes down to how these players start off here. One last game for the title. Now it's about getting in. And that's a big hit. A ton opener from Kevin. Learn's going to need to match it, if not best it. And a no score from Gates. I can't believe it. What timing. He's been so pivotal on hitting those ends. He's been hitting these amazing rounds, hundreds pluses almost every single time. And to have a time not to do it, this is one of the worst, if not the worst one possible. Now, both sides of the German scoreline are in. Jason Alberts here. Does find it. Interesting stuff here. It's Team Germany. Oh, my. Could put in a big one here. And oh that's exactly my! Exactly what they do. Are you kidding me right now? This is a ridiculously well timed performance from the Germans. And you can hear in the background a big roar from the German crowd. <gasps> no, Chris. Oh, oh no. no! I can't believe that Chris Lim didn't pay attention and didn't see that they weren't in. He can't believe it either. That's just... And that is just an unfortunate go. I mean, that is not a common occurrence for Chris. Well, the red, white, and blue flag is starting to seem like it's a white flag waving as Germany has just been handed the biggest opportunity possible. That is such a bad time for Team USA to do that misstep. Team Germany is looking to run away with this. As we hear the German crowd start to roar. It doesn't matter about every other league that we've watched today for these guys. It doesn't matter about any other performance. It's about here and now. And right now, Germany is showing exactly what we told them from the beginning. That they have the ability to win it all. And if they keep doing what they're doing, they're about to. Well, that was a little bit of a misstep there from Kevin. 
Yeah, Gabe's getting really aggravated now. Does find his way in, but is it too little too late for the for the Americans? It's going to take nothing short of a miracle to save the Americans' run here. As they went from being on match point to now being far behind in this leg. Especially the look at this timing here from Athias. Beautiful 1-2-5 there. Keep putting in the trebles here. At, at the right times. You can see the frustration in all the different Americans right now. All of them seeming to struggle at the same moment here. Jake the only one to throw a ton for the USA side. As this is this, this is hard hard to watch for some of the USA fans, I would imagine. I, I would agree with that one. But the Germans are flying proud right now. Look at they this. Are really flying high. Look at this. Oh Even my. 59. This Nothing but smiles for the Germans. Yeah, I mean they have the huge crowd there watching and supporting them and you can see this USA is still finding a way to smile about the situation but it's pretty much spelled in Germans, uh, Germany's favor. Looking just to take this on down and allow your teammates to take out this 59 here and it'll be Kevin to do so. And the most winningest team in the International Challenge is now showing big cracks in the foundation here at the worst possible time here. So for the win 59 needed. For a 15 darter. And wow, oh wow, handshakes are going. But look at that as Team Germany is going to be victorious in the international challenge here for the men. Congratulations to all of them as they played phenomenal at the, when it mattered most. And they should hold their heads high and be proud of the performance they just put on for us here. Yeah, let's take a quick look at the replay as it's outside and finds it with the next one. Good stuff from uh, Kevin and Team Germany there as they do end up winning the International Challenge 3-2 to two over Team USA.